This is Fred Beck from Fred Royce Fighting, proudly sponsored by Empire Fight Store. Today, I'm very lucky to be joined by Louis Horn. So, how have you been then, Louis? What have you been up to then, mate? Yes. Yeah. again. Not too bad, Fred. I've been doing good. How you been? Yeah, I've been all right. Thanks, Louis. I had a nice Christmas. Had a few Quality Street at Christmas. Do you like Quality Street? They're my favourite, you know. Quality Street. You have all the, all the chocolates. No, yeah, no, yeah. no. Heroes, mate. Heroes. Really? Quality Street. Yeah, you get the horrible ones in Quality Street, don't you? Uh, That's true. You do get you get this. Do you like the the fudge and ice? Um, there's kind of green blocks. They're good. The sticks are good. But here are you doing? No, no. It's the triangle. The triangle one. The green triangle. They're the nice one. Really, That's I don't like those one. ones. You don't like the? That's criminal, Fred. That's criminal, mate. They're the best one. I'm telling you. Really? What else do you do over Christmas then, Louis? What else? Um. Oh. Uh, oh. You know what? Is I got Corona over Christmas. That's why I was at the gym. I uh, don't know, no, joking, I'm joking. I went out, went out a few times because, um, because training, I've bit, because I was in training for so long, for my debut, I was in there for like one and a half years, Fred. So, um, I've did go out. I ain't gonna lie, to you. I weren't, weren't everyone. I just come back after. I was all chill, but I got Corona when I went out, so I've had to chill, chill over Christmas, and now I'm back on it because I wanted to be in training a bit earlier than I was. Because everyone's been saying, where is he? And then I've returned back on track and I killed him. Fred, I killed him, mate. Absolutely killed him. But yeah. Okay, so when I send this to Mark Tibbs later, he'll yeah. say, yeah. No, nah, don't, don't do that. <laughs> no, don't, 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 don't send it to Mark. Don't send it to Mark. But I did kill him. That's just between me and you, Fred. <laughs> and everyone else who watched the video. Well, see, so he went back yeah. and did all that fitness stuff when he went back. Was that quite a struggle? So I know from amateur boxing, when I've been out for a Oh, well, when you go to the gym, it's quite hard work. Yeah, it's hard work, but um, first session, I'm not gonna lie, I felt like I was gonna have a heart attack. But some was was coming around my chest, Fred. I couldn't breathe, mate. I couldn't breathe. I'm sitting here thinking, I oh, wait for this to be over. It's only 15 minutes in, and then um, you know what it was? I was on the bike. You ever seen them? You know the big fan mm-hmm. bike things? Yeah. So I'm doing that, giving it the large, right? First one, light work. And I'm, I don't know, we're doing sets of these. So we've got jump off, they got on the ropes, do that and jump back on. Second set, come in, I'm, I'm going, I'm thinking, I'm going to be sick here, you know what I mean? So I'm going, son, I can't, he's tapping me on the back, going, go on, son, you're good, you're good. I've jumped off the bike, run to the toilet, I've sicked up everywhere in there. Oh, it was bad. It was bad. So, did the um, others know you were, the others know you were sick after? Yeah, I was laying on the floor for it, I was like this. I was out, mate, I was out. I was gone. I couldn't move, like, I was stuck. Like, give it 10 minutes, then go back in there. But oh, I didn't enjoy that one. I really didn't. I hate that bike. I hate it. I hate you need it. to get rid of it. You need to, when Mark's not looking, you need to get that bike and take it out quick. Then. Yeah, no, nah, I might smash it up, Fred, when I go in there next. You know what I mean? I'll get, I'll put ammo through it. It'll be sorted then. But it's another one in there. But I'll be smashing the old gym up. I don't like the exercising. <laughs> Yeah, but your um your strength conditioning coach is Sonny. He's quite good though, isn't he? Oh yeah, he's a nuts, mate. He's a nuts. But um, there's things you do right, like because I've been with other strength and conditioning. There's things you do that um that are just different. You're tuning, tuning all different muscles. Normally you're just doing the normal normal bits. But he does things that are really weird for your core and all stuff that I've never done before. And you can see the difference. You see, like when Johnny does it, because Johnny's been doing it, and my brother does it. Compared to compared to them, I'm pony. I'm terrible. So um, that's something I've got to improve on big time. Because mate, I'm trying to put on a bit of weight, I'm trying to go to the gym a bit. You know what I mean? But um, yeah, it is hard work. It's really hard work. You got to go, get down there, Fred, mate. When yeah. I come down to the gym, then when I'm gonna come down to the gym, hopefully in in January or early February, or do some other yeah, that- with them of you guys. Yeah, oh yeah, do it, Fred, Fred, your last two minutes, mate. Don't do it. <laughs> Don't do it. I'll just be behind the camera videoing you guys do it. Yeah, yeah, definitely. It's good good footage in there, but there's certain things you look at and you think, what are they doing? You know what I mean? It's different, weird, weird stuff, but it really does work, really does work. I saw an, um, I think it was Tommy Fletcher's story and Johnny Fisher's story, they're in the ice baths. Did you go in an ice bath? Wait, I was going to go in there, right? Fred, I'll tell you a story, right? So I finished the track, killed them. By the way, let me just say that on the track, absolutely finished them, Fred. Right? And they're all, all going, oh, I'm going to go in the ice bath. I've said I'm going in the ice bath, right? And then um, I've forgot that I've put on a bad pair of pants, Fred. So as I'm, as I'm about to... 
<laughs> wait, wait, as I'm about to do it, right, I'm about to front it and say, I don't want to get in it, it's too cold and all that. Really, I've looked down the pants. It was like a phone. From where I've been running it away, Fred, it was the most embarrassing thing. So I'm now about to go, I ain't getting in, I ain't getting in it. So I'm just videoing and saying, oh, it's too cold. Yeah, that would have been light work and all, Fred, you know what I mean? So, yeah, I, don't know how to follow, I don't know how to follow that up. Well, do you do the ice baths often then? Is that common now to do? Um, you know what I do? Um, have you ever seen them chambers? Yeah, I've seen them. The, so the, the chambers where you put the gloves on and you're in there and you're Yeah, them. yeah, they're the ones. Got someone up the road. They um, asked once for me, so I, I just jump in there for my recovery. But that's uh, it's a weird, different cut. It's different, like really different cold. But um, it's better to get in the ice bath. But it's really quick, really quick and easy. You know what I mean? Just chuck my gear back on. I'm dry. And to run a bath that's cold, it's not for me. It's not for me. <laughs> no, I'm like, I'm like hot baths. Yeah, I know. Have a hot shower, hot bath, not a cold shower. Or a lot of yeah. people, they, you always see those motivational Instagram pages like, oh yeah, wake up 6 a.m., have a cold shower. But so you think like, do they really, do they really have a cold shower, you know? It's, it's screw loops, Fred. They've got a screw loop. Have you ever tried getting up and doing having a cold shower? Oh, mate, mental, really mental. I'd never do it, Fred. Because even step on the tiles in the bathroom, that's cold enough. I get put in a water on, oh, six o'clock in the morning, no chance. But whoever yeah. does that, that's off to you, you know what I mean? But So what's the kind of relationship with everyone in the gym like? Is it all quite competitive? Because you've got all, there's no one really that old in the gym. It's just quite young, quite young to say what Yeah, class. yeah, yeah. Harvey's the oldest, isn't he? But um, it's, oh, it's all like kids, I'll be honest with you. I like it. You know what the good thing is? If I ever get in a bit of trouble outside, I've got Tommy a call on, I've got everyone calling. <laughs> hey, what trouble are you guys. getting in outside the gym then? <laughs> oh, I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking. But you know what I mean? But um, yeah, Tommy and all that, oh, they're, they're banter, mate. They are laugh. They are really good stuff. But they've all uh, welcomed me in big time as well. And I'm grateful for them. But um, yeah. Not too bad. It ain't too bad. It's good stuff. But Mark's a really nice guy. Does anyone ever stress him out? Mark's more act like acts like more of a kid than us, mate. The I go, I act. He's brilliant as well. He's brilliant. But um, the serious one, I say the serious one is Jimmy. Jimmy, mate. He's a serious one because he did one one wrong thing. Yeah, he shouts. Yeah, everyone's like ah. <laughs> looking at each other, all, all looking lost, but. He, he shouted at me once, let me tell you something. On the ground, we're doing groundwork, right? And I don't know his groundwork. And he's saying rows. I don't know what rows are. So I'm saying, what are these? And Jim, he going, no, nah, they're not them. He said, um, uh, what is it? Yeah, yeah, he's gone rows. And then he's gone two on the side. So I've gone, all right, fine. He said, no, two on the side. I went, Jim, mate, I don't have a clue. You know what I mean? Like, no disrespect, but I don't have a clue. I mean, ah, what's wrong? What's wrong with you? Like that one of them ones. I'm sitting on the floor. I've never panicked so much in my you know what I mean? Sit up, so I ended up doing it. I ended up doing about a thousand in there. Like oh, it was scary, mate. But um he's he's very serious, like he's very very serious, but it's good, it's good because you've got to liven up sometimes, you know what I mean? Sometimes you can switch off in training and you need you need someone like that to get on you and uh belt you, really. When I spoke to Mark, Mark was saying that Jimmy's in the gym most days. He was quite good, but I thought Mark would be the serious one because it's considering he's a yeah. Guy. No, Mark is very serious. Don't get me wrong. So, soon, you know, the difference is soon as um, play times over and we're all talking and whatever, and it's serious work. They, he's very serious as well. Like he's shouting at me and whatever, but um, they're doing it for the good. You know what I mean? So I don't. I never take it to art, but. Um, yeah, he's, he's very serious, but he's very, he, there's things what you're doing there with Mark, right, even on the pad, it'll be so, so much like I'm sparring, it's, um, it's mental, right, I probably wouldn't even need a spar, Fred, you know, it's just the tips and tricks he's got is mental. Yeah, I've spoken to Mark a couple of times, he's a really, really nice guy, and what's it like having him as a coach, he's one of the best coaches out there right now in boxing. Yeah, he is, he is, he's brilliant, brilliant stuff, the stories he's got as well. Fantastic, because he's been around everyone, and he? he's been around the block a few times. And um, to even be in the gym um, with that, um, he's with, with the intelligence of him on everything he does. But even when you walk in there, you can there's an aura in the gym now. It's 
oh, it brings everyone up and more more everyone gets up, everyone else is getting up. You know what I mean? It's brilliant. There's no down days in there. Everyone sticks and gets their hard work done and then they're messing about after. But um, it's, it, it really is. It's, it's mental. It is mad. It's good. That's pretty cool. Haven't you seen, I saw Jimmy Tibbs playing a, playing basketball thing with Mark Tibbs' son. you got a basketball hoop in the gym. Yeah. Oh, she Fletcher and all them. They could dunk it. They could actually... It's, Mate, it's like the ceiling. It's his, it's his so high. See, Fletch going, boom, dunking it. Everyone's dunking. I'm the only one like that. Can't get it. I can't do it, mate. Can't even rip some net on it. All right, it's mental. But um, I'm as well as again. Let me say, I'm the best at basketball. I'm an all round talent, for it. and I'm better than a lot of them. I'll put I'll put one on it next time. But I'll yeah, make sure uh, to tag. When I put this on Twitter, I'll make sure to tag each one of them in the interview. Then. No wait. <laughs> Fred, I've been in that watches, you know what I mean? They're grueling. But um, yeah, I'm better than my, at basketball. Don't worry about that, Fred. Well, so you all play basketball at the end of the sessions then? Yeah, no, um, what they do, we do a little um, competition. So whoever misses the shot, which is, yeah, last time it was Tom actually, they do a row, they do a 15, 1500 meter row. Oh, mate, you don't want to lose that one, you know what I mean? Sometimes I take I take step out. I don't even want to get involved with it. The pressure's too much. <laughs> I'll end up being sick before the session started. But, but yeah, I, I, I don't like them games, you know what I mean? Because sometimes games, they can put you off and then I'm dead for the session. I don't like them, so I, I just try to slip out of the way. I could go to the toilet, I could go to the toilet. Go on, use play. Yeah, Fred, I, I, I stay, out, stay out of that, you know what I mean? Yeah, you, don't mean, you don't mean knackered for sparring or for Pablo. Like, that's, like, that. that's, that's what I mean. Like, if you use your, use your brain, what it's none of these are doing, they're all messing around and playing games but, um, and doing rows and all that. But it's like they love it. It's like they love it. I'm, I'm seeing that as training, you know what I mean? These are doing it. It's nutty, mate. You know what I mean? They love a bit of training. And but, do you, do, you mentioned earlier about your sponsor. Do you do this boxing full time or are you doing like a side job that you're working on as well? No, um, I do do boxing full time. I sometimes help help my dad with a bit of work, but um, I I do try to tra- train twice a day. I try and do my gym in the morning, and then weights weights after. But um, sometimes if I have to go work with my dad, um, uh, just to help him out, it's too much for him. Well, too much. This is why I'm knocking it on the head. I ain't told him yet, but <laughs> he's gonna be upset watching this interview, Fred. <laughs> But yeah, I'm gonna knock that one on the head. And what do you do? Much. What is it? Labor? I mean, a labor job is it hard work? But what is? Ah, it? no, they hardly do anything anyway. But I just sit in the van. I like, need to. If it needs to that, it needs to that. <laughs> but yeah, um, yeah, no, it's not. It's not every work, but during over the whole day. So I've got a gym. Oh, if I go work, help them out. Something. I mean, I'll go to the gym, come back, go back to work. But um, my dad's partner, right? He's he's in. Right, gets you up on me, you know what I mean? Because I'm on him all day, I'm on him all day. And um, the banter gets a bit too much, you know what I mean? By the end of the day, he's kicking me out of the van. So, um, and then I got and then I got to go back to the old man. The old man grills me at all. So uh, I think it would be best if I do leave. I think, I think so. <laughs> Hopefully. He's going to sneak off, I guess. And uh, yeah, just going to the, back, to the boxing part of things. I remember, obviously, box on the on the card a few months ago. Obviously, if Harvey was yeah. inventing, have you got a promoter yet or a promotional company yet? You yeah. Um, what What the plan is really? I want to be. I want to half be free. I want to get out this year. I want to have seven, eight fights. You know what I mean? But if people will be willing to put me on their show, because mate, I, I ain't I ain't gonna um, disappoint in any way for it. You know what I mean? If it comes to it, but like, oh, I'll have a rare. If Mark wants me a box, I box. But no matter what, it's gonna be. It'll be entertaining, you know, and that's what I want to do. I want to entertain big time because there's a lot you see people get in the ring and the talent. Only boxers can see it. Like if I'm watching, if I'm watching a fight, I can see loads of stuff going on. See from the normal, normal standpoint, from the normal fans, they ain't got a scoop what's going on. They're just seeing two geezers like fencing. But um, so I, I ain't afraid to mix it up, Fred. You know what I mean? I actually ain't. So. I don't want to show that just yet. I don't want to show that just yet. Just in case I get it done, you know what I mean? But, um, yeah, I understand the entertaining wise in the room. So, if I have to bring it, I'll bring it and I'll know when to bring it. That's the difference. I'll know when to bring it through. 
You've also got to be entertaining, which you're quite good at as well, obviously, up here watching this interview. You're very entertaining outside of the ring. That's important. That's just as important in a way, especially in this. Yes, big time. But you know what it is? If people say I'm entertaining for them, I don't have a clue. Like, I'll, I'll start talking, right? And I'm saying a word. And the next word will come in my head. I'm saying this to Sam the other day. Next word will come into my head. And then it will go out and wait. So it's not me being entertaining. This is me being me. But it's not, I don't know. I, I might just think of that. I don't know. That's perfect. Imagine, wait, you, imagine, break, when you, imagine when the when the press conference comes around, you turn up to the press conference in your suit. Oh, wait, wait. I start getting in that stage, friend. Everyone's getting it. Everyone's gonna get it. Only if they're nice, of course. But um, it'd be a brilliant build up. Be a brilliant build build up, and people will want to watch it. And then I'll start running. If any any, any of them are heavy anyway, so I'm gonna be running about that ring. No worry about that. Because I I'll be doing that. Trust me. Yeah, certainly. And I just want to touch on uh, on your brother Harvey Paul. And obviously, he didn't he didn't get the win yeah. the time out. How's Harvey doing? And because I remember I seen a um, few with him. I think he did, it was John Jab Box and this round. He was just talking about how yeah. he beat in the yeah. Fight. How's he been since? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So what is? I don't, I don't want to talk too much on it. Just wait for him to say. But um, he he's fuming. He's fuming in a good way. This is going to show you his character. I'll be honest with you, mate. Just, I know, I know him as a brother, I know him inside out, and he's fuming. But he's, it was, we was worried about if he would have been fuming in, oh, forget this, you know what I mean? I don't want to do none of that. He's, the mindset on him is different now, mate. I might have needed it, might need a loss to wake him up. But I know that sounds wrong, but the talent he is, Fred, like, he's, he, he is unbelievable, like, right? and, uh, and he just thinks a little bit of confidence, self belief, and that. Oomph, you know what I mean? But I don't expect too much on it. You know what I mean? I wait for him to do the interview um, when he wants to. But trust me, he'll be back soon. Yeah, <laughs> certainly. He's a good guy, Harvey. But what's the relationship like between you and your brother? Is he competitive? Like, always going to beat each other in the sprints? Yeah. Yeah, he's as unfit as me, Fred. Yeah, he's me. <laughs> yeah, he's bad. But, um, yeah, he's, to be honest with you, over Christmas, he's been getting grilled a bit. You know what I mean? I've been grilling him. Me and the other brother have been slaughtering him. But um, he's got to take it because he got gives it to me all the time, Fred. Wait, what do you mean by grilling him? Do you mean being the sprints or dissing him? No, no, no. Not, not nothing to do with training. I'm, yeah, dissing him, Fred. Dissing him because I've got to get my own back. You know how I many? Because he's a bit more smarter than me. He's, he's sharp with his words. And now I've had him all over Christmas, Fred. I've, I've had him, you know what I mean? <laughs> I've hit a few below the belt, but it's got to be done. It's got to be done. But yeah, in the sprints as well. Um, you know, he's a weird one, right? Fred, he runs, right? And he gliding, right? Like, little little fella, just kind of, you know, like one of them ones. And he, he don't get tired, but like, it seems like he don't get tired because he looks like he ain't trying. But um, yeah, he does me in the sprints. I ain't even lie, so he does. But um, I'll John, get him in the Fred. John Hedges says that uh, Johnny Fisher's the fastest in the sprints. Listen, if, if we all went 100% out, I would win. Just know that I would win. This is, this is quick, but I'm very quick. I'm very quick. Well, son. All right. Um, just, just a couple more uh, points. So you look to be out like, kind of eight, seven to eight times this year. That's quite a few, quite a few bouts. You're going to be kind of on the small hall shows. You know? I'd not love to get a few more Wasserman deals. It'd be brilliant. Um, but any Fred, like, I will have once a month. I'll say that, yeah, I'll have one fight. I'll come out. No, I'm joking. I'll have once a month, Fred. That's what I want. Month, no, nah, month's a bit short. Um, month and a half, we'll say a month and a half. But um, I really want to get, because I've got so much learning. In, in, this is a whole different game now, Fred. Like, compared to the amateur, this is so different. So um, I'm still learning. And um, at least I'm getting the right advice now the right advice and stuff I trust big time. So, and the way he boxes, and, and uh, yeah, the way he boxes is exactly the way I want to box. You know what I mean? Like the info he's giving me is perfect. So, and there's a lot of it, there's a lot of it, Fred. I can't take all of it at the minute. So I just got to knock, them, knock, them, knock the steps down. You know what I mean? And how much amateur experience do you have? How many bounces amateur do you have? I was all right. I think, I think I had 20, 22, lost... No, 23 lost two, something like that. Okay, that's quite good then. That's all right. Yeah, it weren't too bad. It weren't too bad. And the ones I lost, I didn't lose. I didn't lose. I only saw a loser, but I didn't lose. Fred, I swear to God. 
Hey, you robbed me, mate. They robbed me. So what I used to do in the amateurs, right, so I was quite unfit. I wasn't unfit, but up, upper body, I would get really tired quick. So I was banging out football. And um, I'd go in there, purposely win first and second. I would survive the third. I would have... <laughs> Fred, I would just survive it. I would think, I can hit these first two. Sweet, sweet. I'm off. I'm running. That third round, you ain't catching me, mate. I touch all the ropes, you know what I mean? I was skimming along the edge. But yeah, you don't good. you don't use that tactic in the pro ranks though. No, no. Everyone getting eye on that, mate. Because this is this is what I want to do. It's what I want to do. It's more entertaining. With the amateurs, you can't really knock them out of the big fidgeting. But um boy, yeah, Fred, I just want to knock someone sparkle, you know? It'll be brilliant. It'll be brilliant. Imagine that clip going on Insta, it'd be fantastic. Thank <laughs> <laughs> <Who's> that. <laughs> you go for it, mate. You could probably make quite a cool editor of it. And wait, so after your last after your last fight, I know you kind of disappeared from the gym a bit. What are you doing? Are you partying yeah. after party after your last fight? No. Nah. <laughs> Fred, I didn't. Um, no, what it is, um, uh, I did I know I didn't mean, yeah, I might have had a little drink, but I come home, went to sleep. Because you know, <laughs> hey, you know what it was, Fred? I was sitting in my bed, I couldn't get to sleep the whole night because it was a good but bad night at the same time. They say about, don't they, about um, they want your daily to be uh, memorable. So, um, and that was one, definitely. You know what I mean? Even though it was bad, it definitely, um, definitely one up there and I'll always remember it. But, um, yeah, so anyways, right, I got in bed and then I'm thinking, is this really just happened? You know what I mean? Like, I've been waiting for it for so long, Fred. So I'm sitting there thinking, is this really happening? Three o'clock, you know what I mean? I'm still sitting, I'm sitting in bed. <laughs> it didn't hit me till the next day. Um, I had a massive fry up, I know why I ain't even lie, so the next day. I love I love that. But um what was in your yeah. fry Egg, what was in your fry Eggs, bacon, tomatoes. Yeah, full English, it's just a full English, but um, you know what I don't like mushrooms, get them out of the way. They are nasty, mate. I don't like mushrooms, I don't like them. I like all the other gear. And um, yeah, I really enjoyed the breakfast as well. To be honest with you, Fred. <laughs> yeah, they are quite nice. So just to watch your weight after, especially after a fight, just watch your weight, make sure you kind of stay on fight weight. No, no way. Oh, you know what it is? I got um, what's the thing called? You now when you just can lose weight, I can drop weight when I cut sleep. Cut weight, you mean? Cut, cut the weight off. Yeah, yeah, I can cut weight really easy. But um, so my my plan is anyways to eat. Eat a lot because I want to get bigger and then drop down to that weight because that weight was my not that weight was my walking around weight really. So I'm a bit like a stick and I want to be a big stick now. You know what I mean? Like a tree. Hey. <laughs> okay. All right, Leo. I have to get you on. I have to get you on. I get you on monthly on the channel because you're quite entertaining. You know, you give a good interview. Yeah, that'd be brilliant. That'd be brilliant, Fred. That would. That'd be good. Are you not on TikTok or anything? No, Big John. Big John Fisher's TikTok's gone off. And it's really doing really well. You're not forwarding anything like Wait, that. Wait, see, TikToks are a bit of a weird one. I see, um, uh, I was, what was there? I must be going cafe or something. And I see like six year old, but they got their phone up and they're dancing in front of the camera, right? And they put lot, everything's going on behind them. I'm looking, I'm thinking, they're nutty. You know what I mean? I just don't get it, Fred. I don't get this TikTok thing. I might jump on it. Yeah, you know what? You know what, Fred? I, I, think, should. I think you should. I think you're missing missing a boat there, not posting more on your yes. TikTok. So you're quite an entertaining character, you know. And I think that'll yeah, yeah. relate to that. Yeah, yeah, definitely. But um, yeah, I'll, you know what? I'll try. It. I'll try. It. You know what? You know why I don't emotionally do think that? Because T R and that, they, are they anything I do small, they cope me like absolutely cope me. I just think I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. And then um. Yeah, that's the worst bit. As soon as I walk through the door, if I've done anything wrong, I know, I know I'm getting in trouble. You know what I mean? If I've done anything a bit cringy, oh, that'll be me for the week. That'll be me for the week, Fred. Oh, that's horrible, mate. Yeah. Yeah, I understand. You <sighs> don't want to stay. Uh, but, Louis, I'll put, all your, I'll put all your socials in the description, your Instagram. Uh, yeah. I, saw, I said it last time uh, on Twitter, and you said that's for the old geezers. Are you still on, are you going to, are you going to be on Twitter? Wait, I was just setting that up. <laughs> No, I was just setting it up as we were talking there. Uh, no, I'm joking. No, I'm setting it up. I am I'm through setting it up. But um, it's going to be a weird one because I ain't going to have a lot of followers on there. You know what I mean? I feel a bit lonely on Twitter. So I've got to have a lot of people shout me out. You know what I need? Well, yeah, Fred, you know what I need? Is um, 
because uh, I was thinking about a sponsor and I'm, I'm going to try to do this meal prep thing, right? But um, the only thing with a meal prep is, what is it? Oh, yeah, yeah, that was it. I was going to do some meal preps. I was going to go get some. And I was talking to Sonny and um, he goes to me, you can't put these meal preps in the microwave. So I'm, what, if I get pasta or something, Fred, how am I going to eat the pasta cold? How am I going to eat the pasta Maybe cold? Maybe Sonny's just having you on. Maybe Sonny's just joking. No, that's what, wait, apparently he said to me, all the goodness, if you put it in the microwave, it goes out of it. But I don't want to eat cold food for the, for the whole camp, you know what I mean? I don't want to do that. Why don't you just cook your own food? It's <sighs> long, mate. <laughs> wait, that is long, Fred. I ain't doing that. No way. You need right. to get your own personal chef, basically, then. Yeah, yeah. I ain't on that sort of money yet. One day, disease. Yeah, one day in the private jets and then personal chefs. That's a... <laughs> That's pretty nice. Yeah, definitely, definitely. We all need one, really, do we? And oh, what, about your t- what about your T-shirts? I remember last time, after your first part, you had a... Wait, Fred, Fred, wait, on the next one, right, I'll bring a T-shirt for you. I've got you sorted. I'm going to get you one of them box fit ones and all, because I like you, you know that. I mean, you're going to get a proper good one. Okay, thank you again. Again, I'm with the sponsors of Mark Tibbs Boxing, that sort of thing. Yeah, yeah. No, you're going to have the same, like, the flat, my flat kit. I'll just give you one of them tops, you know what I mean? What size you are? Well, I'm 5'7 and I'm skinny. So your kid's 14? <laughs> <laughs> I was joking. Uh, extra small, they're extra small. I'll get the extra small ones because they look... Wait, what, no, what, what, size is, what size do you tell? Um, I have small, but I don't... They, they didn't do the extra small when I went down there, but um, I like the extra small, Fred. They make you look big, you know what I mean? If I'm coming in the ring, all right, and I'll got all these shoulders out he's gonna be cacking it but yeah i like the extra small friend i'll be honest with that well, you're gonna get that mental advantage then basically wearing a tighter t-shirt is that why, yeah that's why all the bodybuilders and dwayne rock johnson they always wear, they always wear those tight t-shirts don't they that's why yeah oh don't wait i got the gym i got my gym right and i'm pumping weights and i see all these big big juice heads right and then i'm thinking mate i can lump a lot of you out you know what i mean i've all got them silly little vests on <laughs> but yeah they, but they're, they're big they're big geese don't get me wrong but they just find a bit of weight about but um yeah i still do them i'm afraid do you know what i mean Looking there's a good idea of a tiktok there's a good idea of a tiktok winding up the bodybuilders oh yeah I'll, i actually will i actually will uh that's a that's a good little shout that one we'll do that level we'll war with bodybuilders <laughs> maybe quite a <laughs> Quite entertaining, but Louis, I'm sure we'll catch, we'll catch up next month. Hopefully, uh, oh, we'll pass up my news by then, but we'll catch up soon. Thanks for your time. I'll put your social uh, on the on the description. That'd be perfect, mate. Nice talking to you, though.